please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey y'all, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all. Welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all. Welcome back. Okay, today we are going to be doing something completely different for the first time. I've never done this before. You ready? Finally, I made a poll and you guys want to see water slide. So, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We are going to be using Haze Paper Clear Water Slide um, Decal Paper. You use with inkjet printer. It's instructions included. A4 size 20 sheets. And this is actually going to be down below in my description on my Amazon store. Okay, it gives you all the directions and we're going to go over all of that, right? So you guys are going to be able to see how I made this prettily, how I made this and how I made this word to nip. Y'all know I love Nipsey, right? So I'm going to show you. How I made these mugs with the water slide. Let's go. Okay, so this is what we're going to be using today. Clear water slide decal paper. Um, we're going to use this with the inkjet printer. I have the HP 9015 series. I'm going to be using this. This is the size, A4 size, 20 sheets. Inkjet, I will have this in my description. It will be on my Amazon storefront. It is Haze Paper Co. So that's what I'm using. This is just a silicone mat for the water. Once again, that'll be in my um description. Alcohol and then a plastic a bowl with water. And then these are the silicone um. They're just brushes. You can get them from the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Store, Amazon, Michaels. They're just silicone brushes. I got them from Amazon, so I'll leave the link down below. And then we have our Dollar Tree mugs. Okay, I have different shapes, so we're going to see how the different shapes work. Because this has like a, it's like a curve. These are specifically round. And then we have our crystal clear acrylic coating 1303a this is by krylon it's permanent protective gloss all right so this is what we're going to be using today to do our first this is my first water slide i'm really excited because a lot of people may want to make mugs and they don't have sublimation printer or sublimation ink etc so i'm gonna show you how to go ahead and do it with water slide all right y'all so yep that's what it is and we cannot forget our measuring tape okay all right okay y'all so let me go ahead and show you what we're going to be doing i told you what we're going to be making so now let me show you how we did it so this is the first well one image so vibes i actually got this from Et, uh, etsy it's from my national diva shop so this is where i got it from okay because i know you guys are going to ask and then this butterfly smile often think positively give thanks laugh loudly love others dream big y'all know i love this right i got this inspirational rainbow butterfly from cactus creek studio so i got this from etsy this is where i got that from okay and then this nipsey hustle image i actually googled this i got this um, from Google, I just Google Nipsey Hustle drawings and I got this and then I removed the background and then I added this element. So I'm going to show you right there. So I'm going to show you how I did it really quickly because I know a lot of times people always ask me. So what I did was I got the image and then I went to effects and then I went to background remover. And then you have to be careful because 
Sometimes it'll remove too much of the background. So let it do its thing. And see, it removed too much. So what I did was I went to restore. And remember, these are on some of my Canva tips and tricks. So if you haven't watched my beginners Canva, I have a whole playlist for Canva. If you haven't watched my 23 tips, my beginners, I go over a lot of things on that. It's like, I think nine videos. And so if you see what I'm doing is I'm restoring it, but I'm not being perfect. I'm going over it. It doesn't really matter how far I go over it. I just want what in the inside what needs to be restored. Then the outside can be a little bit janky. It's okay. I got to get over the little puma. Okay. Then once I did this, make sure everything inside of here was restored. I went to done. And then I went to elements and I searched color splash. These came up. I went to effects and I removed this background. Then I let it do what it does. Okay. <laughs> let it do what it does. I might put that on the shirt because I say that a lot. I noticed I do that. I noticed I say that a lot. It's taking a while. Come on, baby. All right. And then I just right clicked. You can right click it or you could go to position. Go to backward. Oh, it did it. It's just taking slow. So I sent that to the back. And then I just put it on top. And then I just grouped it. So that's all I did. Okay. So that's how I got that image. I already have how I want it like that but that's how I got that image okay so and this is this is just for personal use shout out to the artists who ever created it I appreciate you if somehow you know it shout them out okay because I just got it from Google all right so these are my three images anytime I use images or logos or anything inside of Canva I make sure the size is um, 3,000 by 3,000 so I don't know it, it was that size so I resized it and then I went ahead and now it's the size that I want so it could be as crisp and clear as possible okay once I did that I went over to silhouette and, and once inside of our silhouette studio business edition I did go ahead and make the images 3.75 by 3.75 hopefully it's the correct size I duplicated so I could have multiple and then I just made some extra ones just in case and so I could use the full pages okay so now that I did this I'm going to go ahead and print it for my HP 9015 series printer it is an inkjet printer and I am using that water um, slide paper that I purchased from Amazon the link will be down below it will be on my Amazon storefront okay so I'm gonna print this out and meet me over at my desk and when you print, you want the paper type to be photo glossy paper and you want the quality to be best quality. Are the, the equipment, so I forgot to add the scissors. We already talked about that. And the scissors that you'll need. So the equipment that you would need, you need a computer. Oh wait, I'll do it this way, sorry. You need a computer to print the designs, the inkjet printer, acrylic clear spray, scissors, a large bowl, water, paper towel, or cloth. I got a cloth. Um, surface to put the decal on. It can be ceramics, glass, candles. Oh, we're going to do some glass and some candles. I don't know. We could do that. All right, so it's telling you each step of what you need to do. All right, so this gives you everything that you need to know. Okay, so let's go ahead and print it out. Once again, this is the paper. We're going to go ahead and print it out. High quality, glossy side up. This is what it looks like. All right. Okay, so 
So this is the side I put it in. And it printed out like that. That's my HP Office Jet Pro 9015. And it's popping. All right, so here it is. Oh, it looks so good. Look at that. So I definitely have to let this dry. Like, definitely. So we're going to make sure this dries. But it looks super good. Let it dry. Take the printed paper to a real ventilated place. And then put the stuff on. So I'm going to keep before I cut it out. That's step three. So before I cut it out, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. Then we're going to take it outside. Before y'all catch me outside or meet me outside or whatever, I just want y'all to see how good this looks. That's the only thing. Sometimes the camera don't pick up how good stuff looks. But baby, this looks good. Okay? Good. These images are popping. And that's so cute. All right, now meet me outside. So really quick, before I actually sprayed it, I did go ahead and just print out the extra ones. Remember those two? And I'm going to make sure it's the correct size for the mug before I go and spray it. And then it's not the right size. So that's what I'm going to do so first. I just okay? briefly cut around the one image. I'm going to show you how I do the ones I'm really putting on here. But I just wanted to make sure before I sprayed and sealed it and everything that it's the right size so this literally is perfect how i want it to be on the mugs okay so now the ones i'm actually going to use which are those uh -oh. on either mug they both fit perfect okay i just wanted to make sure so now we're going to go and take this outside oh gosh i hope i didn't mess this up Lord have mercy. I messed it up. See, it wasn't dry. Oh, gosh. So, see? So, I'm going to print this one out again. But, you see, you have to be very, very careful because this wasn't completely dry, even though it was sitting over here for like 10 minutes. So, that's why you have to be very, very careful with this. So, lesson learned. Don't be like me. I'm going to wipe this off. I'm going to print this out again. Okay, y'all, I had to figure it out. So I used my fan to go ahead and try to um, let everything dry because I'm not about to mess it up again. All right, so I'm out here. This is my setup thing that I have. But so now I'm going to spray three coats on it. But first I'm going to spray the first coat and then I'm going to let it dry. Then I'm going to spray the second coat. All right, so the first coat, this thing is scary because I'll be so nervous I done messed a couple of them up so y'all got to be very careful and I do have a mask on so if you can't I'm outside and I do have a mask on because you have to be in a ventilated area so have a mask on so that's the first coat and I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back alright it is about eight minutes later, I'm about to spray the second coat. Remember, I am outside and I do have a mask on. Okay, so we're gonna let this, I am outside and I do have a mask on. So we're gonna let this for, sit for another maybe 10 minutes. This time is 13 minutes later and this is the last coat. my coffee filters get some alcohol clean do this one clean off my mug okay then 
first one I'm going to do is going to be this one right here. I'm going to take where my scissors go. Scissors. And I'm going to get close, but not too close because it's clear, it's transparent, and it's going on a white cup. Now, outside, be careful because it's nature out there, so stuff might get on there. So, be careful when you're outside, okay? So, this is now... Oh. Cause yeah, stuff, stuff done floated on. Oh, uh oh, I cut it a little bit. Dang it, stuff done floated on my design. So we gonna just see how this go. So I'm soaking it in there. It's all water. Taking this out. Okay. Ignore what's in there. We went ahead and cleaned that off. The, make sure it's all soaked up under there. It's all wet. We're going to wet the surface. Okay. We're going to wet the surface. We got to soak it for 30 to 60 seconds. Or to the back and can easily slide. All right. So make sure it's all the way in there. So it's been a minute. Oh, oh, yep, it's sliding. So we're going to place the image on there. And then we're going, uh oh, put it in the middle. Oh, y'all see that? And then slide. Uh -uh. Be very careful. Because I can tell this could tear up some stuff. And slide it off. Ooh. Okay. I didn't know what people was talking about at first. And I was talking about something. Else. As long as it's wet, you can move it around. And you use this to make sure. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, I see what it does. Yeah, this silicone thing make it real easy to move around. Yeah, you need that water to move it. You ain't got the water, you can't fix it. Okay, so the more so you, you could get it to where you want it to be. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, so we did that. Did it. I mean, this way. Where is it at? We did it. Oh, oh, it's cute. Okay. And then you just make sure it's all down. Okay. And I am going to put mine in the, and I get all the water from on the other side. And I am going to put mine in the um oven. So that's how you make sure it's all good. Okay. 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 That was easy. We go do next real quick. All right. Let me. We go do nips real quick. So be careful with the water already on there. And so what I'm going to do is just get as close as possible. You see it's clear, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. But you see how I'm like easily going around it like letting it like melt in the crevice of the uh scissors get as close as possible it's clear so you don't got to get perfect but if you want to you could use your cricut cutter really if you want to okay but just let it, just do like how you was a little in school. Get as close as possible. Nice and smooth so the edges won't be rough or anything. Like let it melt inside the scissors. Melt 
and sound the scissors so it could be nice and smooth. Okay. Nice and smooth. And it's sealing on there so it's not rubbing like it was. So I'm going to give y'all some tips at the end. We could cut this little piece off. Okay. All right. Let that soak for a minute. And I'm going to cut the butterfly while it's soaking. thing emerge inside of there. Got my paper, my uh, towel. Alright. I'm gonna just go look at the pretty butterflies. I could definitely feel that it's different. That sealant definitely worked. And I already sit on there. Every single day, three sprays. And I already sit on there. Well, so I'm probably going to do it again. All right. We go clean it. Smooth this over. We got to do this thing. Clean. All right. We're going to take, and we're going to wet it, and we're going to take, nip out, put them where we want them, put our finger in the middle, and then gently slide it off. See this? Slide it off. Okay. Once we do that, place the image exactly where we want it, and then use our uh -oh, then use our silicone silicone brush to make sure all the water's out the back and all the lines are out. Y'all can see me right. Okay. And it's nice and smooth. This is easy, y'all. Anybody can make mugs. This is nice and easy. Oh, this supposed to be sitting. All right. Look at that. Yes, Nipsey. And I am going to put this, like I said, in my convection oven as well. So this one, ooh, ooh, so vibes. Then nip. Then we go do the butterfly. And the butterfly go go on this one. This one is a little, um, it has a little like curve or bend. Okay. All right. Get all, make sure you clean up as you go. I don't know about y'all, but I like to clean up as I go. And then I'm going to put these, and you could do both sides. I'll probably do both sides, probably not on camera. But it's all the same. So now we know how to do it, y'all. So now let's see. All right. Let's get excuse me, the butterfly. And then 
glad it off. Look how easy it come off. Get this off out of the way. Make sure it's wet. Uh-uh. There we go. So we definitely gotta have to have the um where my brush go. Use my silicone brush to brush this out. Okay. This is nice. I'm gonna do this with Maddie. I'm gonna have her make a design. Uh-uh. That water definitely helps. As soon as it gets dry, it messes up. So the wetter it is, the better you can move it around. Because these butterflies tried, I don't know what they tried to do over here. Y'all better straighten out butterflies. But yeah, you could do this with your kids. Because once you put that seal, just don't have them do the sealant. But once you put the sealant on, it's on and popping. Because that before that sealant, whew, it was a mess. Okay, okay. Come on. The water is what keeps you let, let being able to move it around and fix it. So the more water it is, that's why I water slide. I get it. I get the name. Come on, let's not mess up on the last one. Oh, and I think I did. See that? I pour, I, I wrapped it a little bit. So you got to be careful. So we're going to just do the last one again. I got to do it one more time because you got to be careful. All right, dip it in there. And then we're going to take that off. Look at that. So you mess up. See how I took it right off? Ow. But I'm right-handed, so I think I'm put on this side. Because just in case I don't get to doing both sides, to, then I'll at least have it on the right side when I hold my mug. But of course you could do both sides. Clean up your water mess. You don't have to use a towel. You can use paper towel. But I wanted to use a towel. Everything is up to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get it out. Put it where you want it to go. Put your thumb in the middle to hold it. I'm going to put my hand so I can keep these so it won't do what it did the last time, okay? And just gently slide it off. Fix these over here. Be careful because you don't want it to tear like how mine did the first time. Okay? Get your silicone brush. Brush all the water and the wrinkles off. Okay? And I see because it's like a different type of um, design, is I can see it's a little different. Okay. Get all of the wrinkles out. There we go. We don't want to tear that again. So just gently rub. Come on, brush. Come on, water slab. It's because this has, I could tell the difference because it's the different um, shape. So the shapes have something to do with it. So when you decide on your designs, the simpler the shape, the better. Because I don't want it to have like no wrinkles in it. But I could tell it's this bend in this butterfly right here. But I'm just going to let it. Oh, oh Lord. Come on, come on. I was just about to be done. Don't fail me now. Okay. All right. So it's just the different curves in the design. You want to be careful. Different curves in the design. You want to be careful. The wetter it is, the easier it is to move. Okay. We're going to leave it alone because I don't want to tear it. 
let it dry. We're going to let it cure when we put it in the oven. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. See that, like, wrinkle? Oh, let's see if we could get that out Ooh, without tearing it. Because it's adhering to it. So you have to move swiftly, not real fast, but you want to do it. This is my first time, so you want to do it a little fast so that it won't mess up. Ah, right, there we go. Okay. All right, y'all. So I'm going to let it dry a little bit. I'm going to put it in the oven, and we done. And then this is the one. This is the uh, sh this is the cup that isn't all the way, you know, smooth, too. So that may be a difference, too. So take all these things into consideration. But it sure is pretty. Look at it. Okay. Cool. We're going to let them dry. Yay! Okay, so I have it in the oven now. Um, you can let it dry naturally for three hours out of direct sunlight, or you can place it in the oven only ceramics to cure. You put it in the oven at 230 Fahrenheit, and you leave it in there for 15 minutes, okay? So now it's just curing. And you see what it really is in there. Let me close this so it can get Yay! hot. Did it the first time doing the water slide? It was a success, you guys. Look how cute they turned out! They turned out so good. Okay, so. So here are some tips I am going to tell you that I, this is literally my first time, very first time doing it. So I want to make sure that I give tips. Yeah. And though this is my very first time, I want to give some tips that I figured out. So the first thing you want to do is you want to be extremely careful when you're letting these um, dry outside because nature is go nature and you may get like little specks of stuff that comes flying. You want to be very careful when you let them dry outside. So that's one of the first tips. The second tips I want you to um, be aware of is I want you to, when it's wet and you're um, playing around with it trying to make sure that it gets on there good and using the um, silicone brush different things like that I want you to be very careful not to tear it not to tear it or not to fold it because this one um it got a little fold in it because and I was trying to get it out but it's just once it gets there and like the fold, if you move it, you could possibly tear it. So be very, very careful with that. It feels good though on here. The sealant worked really good. I really, the sealant, that worked really good. Um, and like I said, I put it, you saw I cured it in the oven back there. Um, but yeah, so be careful when you're drying it outside. Be careful when you're putting it on. So be careful of the designs so that it doesn't get wrinkled. I would even get closer. So I never done it before, so I didn't know how close to get, how close not to get. I would get even closer to the edges. Um, not on all the parts, but just some of the parts. Like I probably would have got closer to the words on here to eliminate that. Um... It does matter the the size of the image, um, not the size, I'm sorry, the shape. This shape was harder to do than this shape. This shape was super easy because it's basically just like a circle. So it's really, really easy with this one. So just be careful that you don't get any tears or rips because if you do, it's going to show as a tear or a rip. Okay, so you want to be very, very careful with that. Um, but yeah, those are my so tips. So if you do not have a sublimation machine, 
you can make these. Now, do I like sublimation more? Yes, absolutely. Sublimation is faster. You don't have to let stuff dry. Do this. Be careful of the ink, all those different things. Um, it definitely is better than this in my personal opinion but if you don't have like the sublimation machines or different things yet you definitely can get your water slide on okay i definitely definitely like this i'll probably use this again um i'm going to try candles you could put it on glass so i definitely will be using it again but i love it i really do it was easy i i was I was surprised at how easy it was. I was always intimidated. I didn't even know it was at first. I was always intimidated. But yeah. Get your water slide on, y'all. Bye. And remember, the best thing you can do for a person is to inspire them. That's the best currency you can offer. Inspiration. So when a person can rely on you for that, that empowers them in every realm of their life. Being inspired. Words to Nipsey Hustle. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.